Welcome guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can record a video in Unreal Engine 5 using my plugin Runtime Video Recorder. Runtime Video Recorder is a runtime plugin which means you can uh, ship a game with it and let your players or users record in-game videos with these. I have example level over here that allows you to quickly test all the features that this plugin provides. So you can record a viewport, that's what you see right now. You can record a render target, which is set up using this object. And then you can record a camera, which is a sign camera in this case. And at the last, you can make a screenshot. Now let's record the video. Hit the play button, and after you pick desired position for your in-game camera, press 1, and we'll start recording. So after a while, uh, press 4 to stop recording, and now you can inspect the result file. To inspect the result file, go to project directory, in this case, that's my project, and go to the save directory, and you'll see that there's a test video mp4 that you can inspect, and see, you know, it has this particular resolution, has a video bitrate, such and such, and the frame rate, and also there's a, a audio channel, or audio track in this video, uh, which contains the in-game audio. This is how in-game recording with the sound looks like. So this is uh, exactly what you recorded. Now let's record a sign camera. As you can see, I've set up a scene sign camera actor in a specific way, which is uh, uh, not what you probably want, but still uh, it will showcase that you can record this a specific sign camera view with the post processing effect setup. So now hit the play button and after that press 3 to record a camera. Uh, you can see it in game but uh, you know it will still record it. So now after a while uh, you can press 4 to stop recording so that we can inspect the result file. By default the result video file will have the following name test video camera mp4. You can play it and see that it somewhat reflects the what you've set up in Unreal Engine or I've set up in this case. But so this is the default scenario, and you'll need to configure your camera further to, in order to uh, it, for it to completely match what you what you see in the engine. Finally, you can record the render target, which is especially handy if you are developing a VR game and you want to implement in-game recording because the default out output or default render output in the VR is um, for both eyes which is not really suitable for regular video players I would say so what you want to do is you, you want to draw your game into render target like this one for example it's just a regular texture with some parameters and regular target format setup and then you can record such render target and get the mp4 file out of it so let's try it and we had the play button again and this time we press 2 to start recording a render target. Uh, again this is the default settings and you'll need to configure your render target further to uh, get exactly what you want but for VR by default it should work if you package this level and run it in Oculus. So after a while you can uh, stop recording by pressing 4 and uh, will stop recording and now we can inspect the result file as usual. Result video file is called test video on the target mp4 and as usual it's working and it contains the full sound and the viewpoint exactly matches what you set up in the engine and that's it, uh, nothing new. Now let's have a look at the MPI. Here we have a start recording blueprint node which allows you to record uh, in-game viewport it provides you a few parameters like target FPS, width and height, uh, video bitrate, video profile and RC mode uh, for Windows platform only, these two. Then frame rate independent recording, manual capture only, and audio recording. So this like group of parameters is very simple to understand. Just read the command, what it says, and when to use them. And then uh, this one parameter I want to talk more about. So frame rate independent recording means that when video samples are produced by your game or application, you know, we can either use the timestamps that correspond to those moments or we can completely avoid that and encode our video at completely different FPS. So let me give you an example. Like for example, your game runs at 60 FPS 
and when this option is unchecked that means that the video encoder will try to encode the video at the same FPS that your game runs, more or less. So basically if your game runs at very stable 60 FPS, the result video will most likely have the 60 FPS as well. But then if you, you know, if your game has a fluctuations in terms of the FPS, like, you know, it falls and drops from 30 to 60, then the result video will be, uh, result video FPS will also be somewhere between 30 and 60. So this is the option to avoid that, basically. So, for example, your game runs, uh, you know, at 60 FPS, very unstable, very unoptimized, but you want to produce like 60 FPS video. So, if you check this option, then uh, the result video file will be encoded at 60 FPS, no matter your in-game FPS. But then you need to keep in mind that in order to produce the 60 FPS video when your game, for example, only produces like 30 FPS, you need twice more samples. And uh, this is the easy to understand if you start, start like playing with this option and see how it works for you. But overall, like, uh, you know, it works up to some extent. Like, for example, you definitely cannot encode 120 FPS video when your game only produces like 30 FPS video because you would need uh, 4x more samples but uh, like for the cases like when you know your game again runs at 30 FPS but you want to produce 60 FPS video this might work now uh, next option uh, manual capture only this is a handy option if you want to control the process of capturing in-game frames because by default the video recorder captures in-game frames at 60 FPS or at, at this at the game FPS I, would, I should say so this option allows to uh, call a little bit different API to record or capture each frame uh, in-game so that API is called uh, capture a single frame and this will you know request the internal system to capture a single frame that, that um, can later be encoded by you know by the runtime video recorder so this is very handy for VR games when, you know, uh, some people prefer to uh, capture only each second frame uh, instead of the each frame. And this is maybe something that to help you with optimization. And finally, this option is very simple, you know, whether you want to record in-game audio or not. Let's have a look at other Blueprint nodes that this plugin provides. So besides star recording, it also provides star recording render target. You would just need to specify the render target to use. Uh, then it also provides the star recording camera. You would need to specify the, uh, like provide the camera component to, to be used in recording. Uh, then there's a stop recording node, which is asynchronous because it, it takes some time to process the all the samples that are accumulated or queued uh, internally. And there's a separate API for someone who is uh, on a real four still, uh, because you know because of the some internal issues. And then there's a you know blueprint node to make a screenshot. And finally, uh, this is like a something uh, that's you probably want to set up if you are capturing the render target because you know the engine can either update it like each frame or you would need to update it like yourself like in a tickle or something like that yeah and uh, it's not here but the remaining option the last option is the capture single frame which is used when you check this box uh, allow manual capture only plugin exposes a few settings for you uh, so that you know in case something doesn't work or you have a uh, some vendor that provides the hardware acceleration but it's not supported by default you can uh, still enable it so uh, I provide the three options uh, one is the hardware acceleration hardware acceleration means your hardware will be used to encode video which is very efficient in comparison to software based encoders so uh, the currently the plugin is tested on NVIDIA GPUs, AMD GPUs, uh, if tested on Intel GPUs as well and then uh, it, it's tested on Oculus and Android, which means you know it's very efficient to record videos on Oculus and Android platforms as well. So now, uh, in case you are the owner of uh, AMD GPU, then uh, you'll need to enable this option by uh, because by default it's disabled. Uh, because I'm not sure every AMD GPU is su supports video uh, encoding on Windows platform. Let me know if if that's not true or if if, if that's true. Uh, so, but you would need to uh, enable this option if you are AMD owner, AMD GPU owner. Then, 
uh, probably the same for Intel. Then the last option is uh, if something goes wrong in terms of the encoding, you are getting the wrong, you know, you're seeing the wrong results, then you would like to probably enable this option to inspect each frame. Uh, the frames will be in this folder and you will find them as a, like PNG files. Uh, almost each frame will be uh, dumped here and then you can, you know, send me the files and we can look at that together. I wanted to show you one more thing. So I profiled the video encoding and on average it takes about like two milliseconds or less uh, on uh, some VR devices. So for example, uh, this is the real size profiling on Oculus Quest 2. On Oculus Quest 3, it's even more performant. It takes about like a one millisecond to one point half. Uh, it really depends on your scene and how you use it, but overall, uh, it's it's pretty lightweight video encoding, and you should be able to just use it in your VR game and let your players record any video they like. You can grab my plugin from Unreal Marketplace. It's called Screen Capture Video Plus Audio Recorder. Uh, works on Windows, Oculus, and Android. Supports hardware acceleration uh, and tested very well so far. Uh, it, I even have version for Unreal 4 users still. I provide like uh, updates, often updates, and describe all the features here that you know you might want to try. And there's a demo project that you can try as well. And there's a bunch of example videos I recorded over the, uh, the process of the whole development. And then the recordings can be used in any player, uh, supported platforms uh, listed like here. Then, you know, tell me what you need in terms of the features because uh, the currently it seems like it supports quite a lot of scenarios. Like, you know, as you can see here, I've tried to uh, show them all to you.